Now, in this question number 96, we have to find what type of the association is between the C animon which is attached to the body of hermit crab. Now, C animon, it is attached to the body of the hermit crab due to which both the sea animon and hermit crab they are benefited. Now, what benefit is there for the sea animon? Now, sea animon is sedentary, so due to the attachment with the hermit crab, one it can move. Yes, movement is there. Then the second one availability of the food, availability of the resources for the sea animon that increases. Food availability will increase. Now what benefit is there to the hermit crab? Now sea animon possess tentacles and these tentacles they have toxic chemicals. So it means hermit crab is protected from the attack of the predators due to this association. Right? So between the sea animon and hermit crab there is positive positive relationship but this relationship is not obligatory it is not compulsory so when the relationship is compulsory you call it as symbiosis you call it as mutualism if it is not compulsory either you call it as proto cooperation or facultative symbiotic relationship so would be the right option here the option which is given here is symbiosis. So it means between the sea animon and hermit crab, there is facultative symbiotic relationship. Now, how the rest of the options they are wrong? Commensalism. Commensalism is an interaction which is positive zero type. Amensalism. This is a negative zero type of interaction. Parasitism. This is a positive negative type of interaction. So all these three they are not included here because it is a positive positive facultative symbiotic relationship. It means for this question number 96 right option is answer number 1. So now let us proceed to the next question here. Question number 97. Which of the following is not correctly matched for the organism and its cell wall degrading enzyme? Now out of these four options, algal cells also have cellulose in their cell wall. So even their cell wall will be degraded by cellulase not by methylase. So our answer is 2. The next question that is question number 98. Now in this, the product of sexual reproduction generally generates. Now out of these four options, the best choice is new genetic combination leading to variation. So again, our answer is 2. Let's move on to the next question that is 99. Now in this question we have to select that option which represent maximum number of species among global biodiversity. Now if we talk about the plants first maximum biodiversity is for the angiosperm that is flowering plants followed by the fungi then after the fungi algae then mosses ferns and allies and then lichens. Now if we look at these four options angiosperm is not there so it means the maximum diversity after the angiosperm that is for the fungi. So this is the best option for this question. After the fungi then it is algae then mosses, ferns and allies and then lichens. It means for the question number 99, the right option is option number 2. In the case of the fungi, the diversity which is present that is even more than 5 million. So after this question, now we are going to discuss next one that is the 100. Let's discuss question number 100. One of the legal methods of birth control is 
Now in this the first option says by abstaining from coitus from day 10 to 17 of the menstrual cycle. Now this is certainly a method of birth control which is called periodic abstinence and it comes under natural methods of birth control because during these days the female is highly fertile and chances of conception are great but this has nothing to do with legality. The next choice is by having coitus at the time of daybreak. Now this is a myth this has nothing to do with birth control. Next one by premature ejaculation during coitus. Now if already ejaculation has occurred then that will rather result in fertilization than helping in birth control. Now option 4 abortion by taking an appropriate medicine. So abortion has been legalized in our country by an act passed in the Indian Parliament called MTP Act. It was passed in the year 1971 after which abortions were legalized so as to avoid illegal abortions by unregistered doctors or quacks which resulted in the death of the female. Moreover, there is a abortion pill or a medicine by which a pregnancy of 7 weeks can be aborted. That pill is Mifepristone or RU486. So thus our best suited answer is 4 and this is our answer here. Now let's move on to the next question 101.